In the Deathly Hallows at the beginning of the movie, we are reintroduced to Voldemort, played by Ray Fiennes, and his makeup is effectively unchanged from when we did it on the fourth Harry Potter, which is a very intense, time-consuming makeup. Okay, if we hold on Rafe's face at this point, you can see quite clearly the tonal value of the whole face is the same, except we've replaced the forehead so that the forehead is actually made of gelatin, just basically ordinary household gelatin, which is translucent, but it enables us to cover up his own eyebrows because he wouldn't want to shave his own eyebrows off. And it enables us also to create more of a socket in the eye. So you can see the, the darkening of the eye and this heavy ridge bone across the top, which changes Rafe's face quite a lot, but it gives us much more of a Voldemort quality. It also accentuates, if you like, the smoothness of the forehead and the baldness of the top of the head.